Hello and welcome back to my channel and today I will show you how to make a simple patrol enemy as the one you see here where it will stop on the on the edge and um, in this tutorial I will show you of course how to adjust this if you only have to go half the way and you can of course adjust the speed as well um, and as always you can of course use your own sprites but if you will use the same as I do you can go to my, uh, my webpage gameassetworld.com as you see here go to 2d sprites and here you can download the uh, patrol enemy and all the things you need for this tutorial and while you're here uh, remember to go into tutorials and check out all my other tutorials while you're here I have a lot of cool ones here yeah let's get to it so um if you downloaded the package from my page um, and you open it up, you should have all these files. If you're using your own, it's uh, okay as well. So let's start to, to set the, the scene up. So first I will create a 2D sprite. And here I will use uh, the white square that was in my package. Let's uh, make it uh, a bit green just to symbolize it's maybe some grass. And here we can scale it up with uh, let's say something like 50 and 3 and position it 0 0 0. Can always of course press here as well and press the, the reset. Uh, the scale will just reset as well. So let's make it 50 and and 3. Let's move it a bit to the bottom. And this one we can rename to ground. And of course we will need a box collider 2D on this one. Then we need to add our enemy. If you have my sprites, you can just mark all of them and drag them into the scene. If you do this, it will automatically create an animation for you. So this one we will just call it uh, let's call it patrol anim and hit the save button and here we have him now let's scale it down to 0.3 I think will be good yes move him down here so if we already hit play now you'll be able to see that he's just walking the same place So to get this to work, we'll need to create an empty object over here. Let's call this the patrol. Uh, underneath that one, you will drag, let's call this enemy, drag it underneath the patrol. And then underneath the enemy, create an empty object. And this will be uh, walking to position so this is the position that he will walk to so now take the patrol enemy here and in this case I will drag him over here and then the only reason I did this underneath the enemy is so I have the zero position of the enemy so if you take this walk to position and drag it to the patrol now you can simply just drag it over here it was just so we had this in line of, of the enemy. You can of course copy the, the numbers here as well. It will work as well. Um, yeah, that's what we have to do here. Now let's create a new C sharp script. Oh, sorry. And this we can call, let's call it patrol enemy. 
and this you will drag we can pick the enemy drag the patrol enemy script and open it up in visual studio and when it's opened we will need to have some different parameters and we will begin with some vector freeze and here we will need a private vector oh sorry it was not compiled it's now we need a private vector 3 and this will be for the location a from the start position and that's where the enemy is in the beginning and then we need a private vector 3 for the location he needs to go to the location b and then we need a private vector 3 for the next location and this will be calculated so if he reaches location a he will go to location b and the same the other way around if he reaches b he will go to a and then we need to to reference these two things and then here we can uh, we will need a private transform and here we need our enemy and then we need a private transform and this will be uh, the location that we need to move to so i will call it moving to location and of course we need to serialize field these two so we can access them from the inspector like this and then we of course need a speed as well so uh, he can move and this will just make uh, public float speed uh, yes let's save this hit Go a bit down and let's see. Then in the start function here, we will need to say our location A is equal to our enemy dot local position. So now we already know that location A is the enemy position where he starts. And then we need the location B that is equal to the location that we need to move to the moving to location dot our local position so now we have the two uh, locations where he starts and where he wants to move to and our next location is equal to location b because we are starting at location a because that's the enemy so the next location will of course be location B. Then we need to calculate it. So let's make a new function and let's make a private void and call this move. Uh, be careful here. Yeah, I know it always do, does this when you say move. <laughs> it's really annoying. Um, and here we need to say our enemy dot uh, local position is equal to our vector 3 dot move towards and here we need to move towards our enemy dot local position next position or uh, next location sorry and we need to do it with our speed time uh, multiplied with time dot delta time and the time dot delta time is the one controlling the frames on your PC. So if you're running on a slow computer and a fast computer, it will always run with the same same speed, no matter what computer you have. And then, and again, this will this will move the enemy from the uh, the position he starts in. He will move from that one to the lo to the next location. Sorry. And he will do it with the speed you have typed in. And then we need to say, um, no, let's do the, I think that's easier to do first. Let's make the change position. So if we say a private void change position, and this will be when he reaches location B, he has to go back again. And he will say next location is equal to our next location. 
uh, is, um, if it's not equal to location A, and then we have to say location A and location B, yes, like this. It, it looks a bit confusing, but this is actually just an if statement. So it will just say if it's if it's not location A, it will choose location B. And if it's not location B, it will take location A. So it's just a simple simple way to 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 write an if statement statement. And then we can up here in the move function we can simply just say if our vector three dot distance uh, distance uh, and then we need to calculate from our enemy dot local position and our next position if the distance between these two is less or equal to 0 0.1 then we want to change position so let's try save this and head back to unity and let's see what happened so let the script compile if you press your enemy and you can now see it's asking for an enemy and that's of course your enemy and the moving to location that's the walking to position and then we have a speed so here we'll type in three and now if we hit the play button he should he should have walked and why is he not doing that just of course uh, <laughs> one of the the most common mistakes if you open up the script again we of course forgot to call the move function in the update so call, call the move function and save and hit back to unity again let it compile and hit the play button and now he should move yes now he's moving to the right and when he hit the move to location he will go back again so what do we what are we missing now we need him to face the correct way and to do to fix that let's open the script again and here we will need to make a, a private Oh, sorry private ball and this will be we will call it facing right and it's equal to true in my case because as you see here he is facing right and then we will have to make a new function and this function we will call public wide flip play oh sorry Let's take it lower flip flip enemy sorry uh, sorry for this flip enemy and to flip the enemy we will have <coughs> and here we will have to say facing right is equal to not facing right so if he's facing right and we are getting to the point where we need to flip flipping right is not true and then so on and then we will need a vector frame for our scale and this is equal to our transform oh sorry for that transform dot local scale uh, local scale like this and then we will scale on our x-axis and this will be multiplied equal to a negative one and then our transform dot local scale will be equal to scale so this is what we need to flip the enemy uh, yeah flip the enemy sorry and where should we do that 
So here we are changing position and the same place we can actually just flip the enemy. So if we call it here, save it, head back to Unity and we hit the play button should actually be able to flip when he reaches the end. Yes, he does. Cool. So that's how that works. And of course here you can adjust the speed and if you want him to move uh, to closer, you can simply just move this closer. Uh, if it's a smaller uh, platform that he, he needs to move on, as you see here. He will just flip between that, even if you want uh, the enemy to go up here. Uh, it probably should work, let's see. Yes, you can see he's actually walking up there <laughs> and walking back again. Yes, that was uh, what I had to show you in uh, this tutorial. Thanks a lot for watching and uh, if you want to see more videos from me, please uh, hit the like and subscribe button below. Thank you, see you next time.